Hey there, Sart here. Um, so I've been working on just sort of like a, a really, truly sort of budget, um, budget friendly clear of this boss up to level 99. You probably saw my earlier like quick clear first turn knockout, which um, to be honest, you know, didn't require a whole lot. But um, you know, if, if you're still struggling with this boss and you just kind of want to know what to expect for, you know. Uh, what to expect the boss to do over the course of several turns. This clear is gonna is gonna take a little bit longer and sort of show you a little bit more of the boss mechanics if you're really struggling uh, to knock this boss out up to level 99. So um, let's get in here. This is a no mods clear. Um, you know, trying to go as budget friendly as I possibly can. Um, here are the units that I'm using. I'm relying, of course, on X Death once again as the primary damage, just because he's. He's got the uh, he's got the killers um, innately for aquatic. Um, he's got a little bit of a bug killer in there as well. He's still not going to be maxed out on killers for this because uh, I'm going super budget. I'm not using dazzling demonus card this time, um, and so yeah, you're going to notice the damage is definitely not as uh, not as good on this clear as it was on my quick clear. But that's okay. That's sort of the point, right? We want to sort of see um, how budget we can go, how budget friendly we can get, and still clear this. Um, fairly fairly simple all right so here's the team that we're working with um roberta is of course bringing in um fire the fire imbue and the fire support here um she's going to be bringing in the killers um I've, i brought my ex zero roberta just to show that you know roberta's not going to be in here doing significant damage or anything she's just here for the support um and an ex zero will do just fine uh, beatrix will be our budget mag tank for this one um she works pretty well and um yeah, I mean, she, she's she got, uh, the nice thing is she has her her nice uh, personal 85% general mitigation that she can put up on demand with, uh, that comes with a barrier. It's only 5,000 HP, but um, for most turns, that's going to be enough. Um, the only turns where it really becomes a problem is the Chimeric Rage turns, where it does the, the huge 90% gravity attack plus the 20,000 fixed attack to the whole party, but we've got you know we've got some uh, some workarounds for that. Um, Elaine is here for some some support, mostly for elemental resistance buffs, break resistance. Also, she's supplying the sword and peril for um, for X Death. Uh, Bulwark is of course important for X Death because he can do the 100% um, MP refill. Uh, which he can do twice during the battle, which is uh, is going to be all that he needs to do. Um, he's also really great because he can provide the 85% magic mitigation to Beatrix, um, which is really, really handy. And then, of course, Cacteria is there for breaks. She's, you know, a great, great breaker. She just needs to be EX1. She's not going to do any appreciable damage or anything. I'll cover the gear real quick. Um, so I, I, I gave uh, Roberta some gear here. Um, as you can see, it's not very much. Uh, I, I gave her swords because we're going with the sword and peril, but obviously if your Roberta is much stronger, she'll be contributing a lot more damage. You're going to see that the Roberta here doesn't really contribute much damage, even though, you know, I tried to gear her for, for killers and everything. Um, but yeah, an EX0 Roberta is probably not going to contribute very much. All right. Um, but yeah, she does have full killers. She's pretty easy to gear for the killers on this one because she has them innately. Um, but that's it. And and so an EX0 will get you by. You'll have a much easier time if you have an EX2 Roberta because then she'll have her LB up on turn one. She can use some of those mitigation skills or the, uh, the killers that come with the mitigations. But you'll see it's not necessary. Uh, Beatrix, just building her in her Brave Shift form. Just make sure she has at least 200% fire and light resist um, because um, Elena will provide 100% buffs and the boss does 200% in perils, so she'll be fully resistant to fire and light that way. Okay, and then just kind of bulk her up on her spirit and her HP as much as you can once you hit those. So here's the gear that I use to achieve that. Um, because the boss does a lot of non-elemental magic attacks as well, so she does need to have fairly good spirit um, alongside those resistances, okay? Um, she does also need to make sure, I gave her hairpin of purity because she does need to be uh, paralyzed and um, confuse uh, resistant. Everybody needs to be paralyzed and confused resistant, so make sure that everyone is covered on those status ailments. Um, Elena, you don't really need to worry about her. Just make sure she's paralyzed and confused resistant in both forms. I didn't even really bother to gear her. She's not doing any damage. Same thing in her Brave Shift form. She's purely here for support. If you want to build her for some extra damage, you can. It's not necessary. 
Um, X-Death, here we go. I'm going sort of, again, another budget build. Moonshade Earring is there for that, um, for the Paralyze and Confusion Resistance, okay? Because he can't wear hats. Usually I would use, like, uh, Kryle's Scrunchie for the resistances, but he can't wear hats. So uh, Moonshade Earring works just as well, and that is Lilliset's STMR. Uh, Magister's Ring for the Chain Cat Boost. Uh, Jester's Claymore for the Budget Sword. Obviously, if you have better gear, use it. Um, and then, yeah, just an, uh, an extra bug killer in there along with lots of MP. So he's got 200 uh, Aquan and 200 bug killer. And then Roberta supplies 150% to each of those. Okay. <clears throat> um, you, it might be better to, like, switch out some, some of that MP for some more killers. But, you know... At, as you can see, um, this will be enough to get us through. And if you do have Dazzling Demonus, Demonus card, obviously that is a great card for this battle. Not just for the higher MP stats, but also because Dazzling the Demonus comes with 100% Aquatic and Insect Killer. So it's like the perfect card for this. But I'm not using it because I'm not going to assume that you have it. It's a limited card. So let's use Oliveras this time and see how we do. All right, Bulwark, you don't really need to worry about him in either form. Um, you know, this is all just gear left over from, like, previous events. Um, you, yeah, you can kind of ignore all this. He doesn't really need any of this stuff. Um, he's just here for the support, really. Uh, same with Cacteria. You can ignore all this gear. She could be uh, she could be naked if you wanted her to be. It might help to put a little bit of, of HP on, on everybody, but um, I think we've got enough HP barriers that we don't need to really worry too much about that. All right, so let's get in here and see how we clear this boss at level 99 with a fairly budget team. All right. Um, so to start off with, we'll go ahead and have Roberta just um, imbue everybody. Uh, we'll do Inferno Breath. We're going to go ahead and unlock Mega Breath and then do Draconic Triune, okay? Um, that's gonna fill up uh, LBs. It's most important to fill up uh, Roberta's LB there um, because we want to be able to use those killer skills next turn, which also come with the mitigations, which is very important for uh, Beatrix. Um, turn one is always, uh, if you've seen any clears on this, you know turn one is always a little bit, um, can be a little bit dicey, um, but Nine times out of ten, Beatrix will survive this turn, all right? Um, so she'll put up her cover, obviously, and then Saintly Protection, which does the 85%. Um, Saintly Protection does your 85% general mitt to herself. Only last two, two turns, keep that in mind, so you got to kind of keep re-upping that every now and then. Um, also comes with a 500, sorry, 5,000 HP barrier to herself. Very nice. Uh, Bulwark will then do Moogly Mixtape to unlock his triple cast, and Jaunty Jubilee, which does the 85% magic mitigation. Alright, he'll do that to Beatrix here. Alright, Cacteria is going to... Um, she's going to go ahead and do Million Needle Assault for the 90% attack and mag breaks. Uh, Deadly Drought and uh, Oasis Retribution just to hit the boss. She is imbued with fire. She's an imbuable mage, so that will count. Um, uh, Elena is going to do Azure Protection, which does um, damage reduction for the party and also puts a barrier on the party, which is very useful. And then she's going to unlock her triple cast on this turn. Um, X Death doesn't really like. If I had Magic Boost Plus, I would put that on X Death in place of uh, either one of those MPs or maybe the Bug Killer, so that we could ramp him up. Because um, he really doesn't have anything to do these first two turns. Um, the boss has a two-turn defense and spirit buff, which will be gone on turn three. So the, the thing about this boss, it puts up these buffs every three turns. Um, the, the attack and mag buffs are, are last for the whole three turns, and then the defense and spirit buffs only last for two turns. So every three turns, you have an opening where the defense and spirit buffs aren't up anymore. So like turns three, six, and nine, the boss will have no defense and spirit buffs, and you can just go full bore and hit it with everything you got. Um, after turn nine, it will no longer have a, a defense and spirit buff of any kind, but yeah, turns three, six, and nine are, are, are good turns to do your burst, all right? Since I don't have um, magic boost plus though, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little buff here, okay? Um, and yeah, that's all, that's all we're going to do.
All right, so there you go. You see Beatrix, she's fine. Didn't really take too much damage. Um, it's very, very rare that the boss does enough of those really strong AoE magic attacks to, to harm her. So she's good. Um, first thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna have X Death cast Fire Aga to hit the boss. <clears throat> All right, um, Beatrix is gonna do Save the Queen to give everybody 75% general mitigation. This is sort of preparing for turn three, um, just in case we don't hit the 50% threshold. There's a chance we won't hit it, um, and then we're going to get that really bad Chimeric Rage turn, which is fine. We'll be prepared for it, all right? Um, Roberta is now going to do uh, Aquatic Killers, Insect Killers, and Ignitos' Domain, because that puts up a 10,000 HP barrier for the party, which is going to be very important. All right, um, Elena is now going to triple cast Crystal Refrag for the 100% uh, elemental buffs, Blessing of Azure Crystal for break resistance, and then we'll just use Beloved Heroin for some uh, morale fill. Okay, and yeah, they can actually, yeah, they can go ahead and do all these. All right, um, we're gonna do Rock and Rhythm for our 350% full buff to the party. Um, on Bulwark. Cacteria is going to go ahead and do Unstoppable Protection. That is for next turn when it does the Motionless Despair. Okay. And I believe we should be good. We'll do all of her big breaks next turn just to make sure they last for the whole fight. All right. So there you go, Beatrix tanking it like a champ. Um, of course, if you were to turn on the <laughs> attack and mag mods, she might not tank it quite like such a champ, but yeah. All right, so before before we do anything, we're gonna um, we're gonna do some damage here, all right, which means Cacteria needs to get in here and do her big breaks. So we'll do uh, magic and mental, um, and yeah, I mean. Her third action can be really anything you want it to be. We'll just hit the boss, I guess. All right, Elena's gonna shift and do Piercing Prism for the Sword in Peril. All right, now like I said, there's a chance you push 50%. If your X-Death is stronger than mine or your Roberta is stronger than mine, there's a good chance you'll push the 50% threshold on this turn, and, um, and you know, that's fine. This strategy should work either way. <clears throat> Okay, let's see what we do on this one, all right? I sort of made my X-Death a little weaker on purpose, obviously. Let's see how we do. All right, that's actually perfect, all right? Um, it's, it, the fight is a little bit easier if you, um, if you push the 50% threshold on this turn, but it's, it, it's, it works fine either way. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to do Electric Ensemble to go ahead and, and fill up x -Death's MP, um, and then we're going to do uh, Mascophony for the re-raise, because there is a good chance that Beatrix will die on this turn, because her 85% Magic Mitt has worn off, okay? Um, and then we'll just do another Moogly Mixtape. All right, Beatrix, so we'll see We'll see, because, you know, she's going to get a 90% gravity attack, all right, um, and then she's going to take some non-elemental magic damage, so there's a good chance she's not going to survive this, but we'll go ahead and just, you know, we'll put up our cover and our saintly protection anyways, and we'll just see what happens. But we've got the re-raise on her, all right, just, to, just in case as a safety net. All right, and everybody else should be good because we've got that big 10,000 HP barrier thanks to Roberta. Yep, that's all right. All right, and it looks like Bulwark took a hit, but he guts it, so good. That's awesome. All right, now we can just sort of set Beatrix back up. All right, so she'll do her cover, 
and saintly protection. Bulwark's going to come back now, and he's going to put that magic mitt on her again, Jaunty Jubilee. Okay, and that'll also top up her HP. All right, and um, he'll do... Uh, he can just do like a Chirrup and a Moogly mixtape. All right, Roberta is going to... Um, Mm -mm -mm. What is she going to do here? She will... She can't do her killers on the triple cast, can she? So she'll do um, Aquatic Insect and... Uh, yeah, we want to go ahead and unlock her Mega Breath again, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, and she should be good there. Alright. Elena is going to come back. She's going to shift back on this turn, and <clears throat> I believe on this turn, yeah, we do the, yeah, we'll go ahead, because how long does that last? Because she also has a 10,000 HP barrier in here for three turns, that's perfect. Yeah, so she's gonna do that. Um, Cacteria, we'll go ahead and do another Unstoppable Protection. All right, and Oh, sorry, no. Um, we're, yeah, we're gonna have to push the threshold on this one. So, we are going to um, do a Mega Breath and Triple Mystic. That's right, I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, because we gotta push the threshold on this turn uh, for sure. Now the boss only has a 50% uh, Defense and Spirit buff up now. So we should do, I don't know, a decent amount of damage. We'll probably do like three or 400,000. Or three, 300, 400 million or something like that. So let's see how we do. All right. All right, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so we should be good to go here. And now we're just going to ramp up. All right, we're going to re-up everything. Did he lose his triple cast? I thought he did Moogly Mixtape on that. All right, so we'll do... Um, yeah, we'll do our Electric Ensemble. Um, we'll do Moogly Mixtape, I guess, to unlock his triple cast, because for some reason he lost it. Um, X-Death. He will just... If I had Magic Boost Plus, this is the turn that I would do it. We're waiting for next turn. Um, all right, because as you can see, the, the boss has all those Mirage stacks, <clears throat> and so we need to be able to get rid of those. So we'll re-up our, our killers here. Um, we'll re-up our Inferno Breath. All right, Beatrix is going to do cover at Saintly Protection again. Um, Elena is just going to hit Blade of Salvation because it has a two-part, so that'll get rid of six stacks right there. Um, and then I think, I think all of hers are just one part. I think all of these are just one part. Just double checking. Yep. All right. So that'll get rid of three more stacks right there. Um, I don't think he's got any other like physical, I could just have him do a normal attack, I guess. Is that magic? Yeah, it's a magic type. I think all of these are like magic type. Let me double check. Yeah. Yeah. So none of these will get rid of, uh, none of these will get rid of that, that last stack. These are all magic type, magic type, magic type, magic type. Yep. Okay. But it's all right. It's all right. We'll get rid of that last stack next turn anyway, so it's not a big deal. Okay. So now we just go in for the kill. Um, we'll have to get rid of that last stack, of course. All right, no problem. 
All right, we'll just have bacteria knock it out. There it is. All right, so we should have all of our killers left. Yep, we're still good. We're still imbued, ready to go. All right, so all Roberta has to do is chain it up, and X Death will knock it out of the park. We can do our um, rock and rhythm for our big uh, full buffs to make sure that we've got um, we've got our mag fully buffed. I think it probably is. We'll do it anyways. Yeah. So he still had it anyway, so it's not a big deal. All right, and we just uh, yeah, we just kill. So here we go, kill turn. Take care of it. And boom, there you go. All right, so yeah, that, that's how you handle this boss if you need to go longer than uh, than one turn, like I did in my, my previous clear. Not too, not too bad. Um, you know, the, it's it's mainly just those those fixed attacks with the gravity damage on the, the Chimeric Rage turns, those are the ones that are sort of the most dangerous, and you could potentially avoid those, uh, avoid that turn. Um, you, you're going to get at least one of them in this strategy if you go all the way to turn six, so either way you go, you're going to get at least one of those, but now you know how to handle it using the HP barriers from either Elena or uh, or Roberta, and then just making sure you have re-raise on your um, your Beatrix if if it happens on turn three, because she's not going to have that 85% magic mitigation uh, to mitigate all the non-elemental magic damage. Um, obviously, X Death carrying that fight, Roberta just chipping in a little extra there, and uh, yeah, there you go. So that's how we get it done. So uh, thank you guys so much for following me. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys that are still struggling with this battle, um, and I'll work on some other. Uh, I might work on some more like rank one clears. Um, there's also that other uh, fighting back memories event. I haven't gotten around to actually uh, re-clearing all of those because um, you know I cleared them back when they first came out, so I don't get a lot of the big rewards. But I do still get you know 100 lapis for each one, plus all of the um, all of our adventure crest rewards are tied to those now apparently. So I've definitely got to get in and get those. So I'll get those done this week, and I'll try and figure out like a nice budget team. See if I can figure out one team that kind of knocks out all of those fights like I did last time. I'll get that out to you at some point this week as well. All right, so stay tuned, and I will see you on the other side.